Welcome back to Talk of the Town. If you are remodeling your home and you need some help, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to this segment here because with me today, I've got Abe Degnan and he's with Degnan Design Build Remodel and he's got the best title over there. I love this. You're the chief problem solver. So you're the guy to go to. <laughs> That's right. You know, it's it's a lot of fun helping people um, transform their lives by changing their homes. And that's truly what people come to us for is that they've got a problem that they need solved in their home. Something isn't working right and they want somebody who has the knowledge and creativity to fix it. Absolutely. And we're going to talk about some different instances that you guys have fixed some different homes with kind of different, I don't want to say issues, but different situations, really. And the first one is something I can relate to. Talking about a blended family, you know, bathroom space is coveted. I know in my house, I had three other brothers and sisters and stepbrothers and sisters, and we had only a one and a half bathroom house, which, you know, you had to box out if you were getting the bathroom that morning. Right. And you guys created a space set up for three teenage girls, and it was the glass Lamb Room project. Tell me about that. Well, this is probably one of my favorite projects of the year here. Um, they, were, they were two families that came together. Um, the house had three bedrooms in the lower level, but only one bathroom. And there just and wasn't girls. enough. It, three girls. Three <laughs> teenage girls. And you know you know how it is with makeup and uh, oh, yeah. hair and all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So the uh, to, to remodel and enlarge the bathroom itself would have been quite a costly project. But this is where the creative uh, problem solving comes in. We had a closet next door to that and instead of expanding the bathroom and moving plumbing and going to all those expenses we created a separate glamour room for the girls where they have they have like you know professional makeup mirrors they have this this incredible hot pink feature wall at the back and a picture of Paris and everything like that and it just it just uh, you know gives that vibe that that you know teenage girls would love um, but we did that at a much lower price than what the bathroom remodel would have cost, allowing um, them to have just, you know, the two sinks for their for their uh, toothbrushing and things of that sort, but the glamour room for where the work really has to get done. What a great idea. I mean, and I'm thinking back to being a teenager and I would have, my girlfriends would have loved to come over and get ready for dances or things like that when you have that kind of space. So what a creative idea. And I have another one for you. You guys also did kind of a space where you incorporated some outdoor connections, which I think is important for some people and they want to feel connected to the outdoors. And tell me about the Bristol project. So a lot of the homes that we do have three season rooms or screen porches and some of them have four season rooms too. This one uh, was really unique because it was a very challenging roof line. There were, there were octagonal uh, pieces Ooh. of the roof sticking out and the roof transitioned from a low height to a higher height and so you can't just attach a standard roof to something like that. Yeah. So uh, these homeowners were very creative themselves and, and very analytical as well. So we went through <laughs> probably about a dozen different design concepts in order to come up with the one that tied into the house just perfectly um, and then going through the materials and picking out cable rail and glass balusters and the perfect wow. decking um, and the, the um, they didn't just go with cedar uh, they actually went with alder for the wood to finish the interior. Uh, just a completely unique situation, um, but with the views and the visibility um, to the outdoors, and we did it all without blocking their living room windows. Wow, that is a feat in itself. Yep. Incredible. We've got time for one more, and this last question, I mean, so many different homes, maybe somebody moves into a new home, there are some really ugly houses out there and I, I think people would agree. And you move into some a space and you want to change it and you want to make it your own. Tell me about the modern remodel that you guys did. Well, this was uh, this was another favorite uh, that we finished a little over a year ago. Sure. And this house actually had not been touched since it was built in like 1974. And it was an oh. ugly bi-level home with these strange wings sticking out on the side of it and things like that. Which was cool at the time, I'm yeah, sure. <laughs> probably, probably, exactly. Yep. Yep. Um, but it just didn't meet modern standards, yeah. um, and it didn't even have a have a garage. It had a carport. So mm -hmm. um, we we did a makeover of this home, um, taking into account the shape that it had, but using that to its advantage. Uh, we built some stone columns that that uh, concealed those old wing walls um, and brought contemporary materials in. We gave them a real garage, a master bath, a sunroom, and again um, cable railing because they had a view out to the Yahara River and things like wow. that. 
Some incredible projects. Be sure to check them out. Again, Abe Degnan with Degnan Design Build Remodel. Thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. We appreciate me. it. And we'll be back with more Talk of the Town right after this.